Hi, this is Annie Manny with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and I am going to show you today a quick little tutorial on how to place your images in storyboards. Uh, this is using the new free exclusive Facebook download uh, at my Facebook page, Paint the Moon Photography. And this set includes, uh, it's called Polish and Protect Tiny Facebook Edition. And you will get a set of actions to help protect and polish your images for online use. Uh, mainly the sampler set is mainly for Facebook use. It's a little preview to a very large set that will be releasing soon uh, for all types of blog and web use. Uh, but this one's kind of focused on Facebook. Uh, the storyboards are actually 900 pixels wide, so you can use them on your blogs or what have you, as well as uh, Facebook after running the resize action for Facebook here. So this is the one we're going to use today for the demonstration. There are three images in this one, and the first thing you want to do is uh, place your images into the document. It's very quick and easy to do this. Uh, there's there's nothing difficult about it and uh, hopefully uh, this will show you just how easy it can be. And so what we're going to do first is you will want to open all your images too. You can open them one at a time or open all of them. And you are simply going to drag and drop them into your storyboard document. So here's the first image I'm going to use. And I am going to just drag this over and drop it in there. and you want to make sure that whichever uh, slot you are putting your image into, I'm going to put it in the right hand large photo slot there. And you see in your layers palette that it says right photo under here. So you just put your photo right underneath there in between those two layers. And that is it. And you can see it, it clips it. So it uh, only the image only shows up in this little gray box here or white box uh, that you see there and you just do that with each of your images this is the second image I'm going to drag and drop over and drop it and this one I want on the top left so I will drop it right underneath top left under here and I'm going to leave it at that size you can also hit command T or control T on a PC and resize it holding your shift key down to constrain your proportion so it doesn't get stretched. Uh, let me show you if you don't hold your shift key down you start dragging as you transform it you can get this and we don't want that. So we will shift the key down while we're resizing and grab my last image and this is the last image we're going to put in there and I'm going to put that on the bottom left and resize that one way down, holding my shift key down, drag the corner, move it into place where I want it. Okay, and that is it. And you're done with your storyboard. So then we can finish this off. This is a uh, blog size right now. So if you want it just for your blog, uh, you can just do a, a save for web and be done. Or if you want to use it for Facebook, uh, we can do uh, Facebook resize and sharpen on that and so I'm going to do that first and we have our sharpen it layer uh, we can turn that off it's, if we don't want any sharpening or turn it down uh, if we have just certain areas we want to be a little less crispy we can take our black paintbrush tool click B on your keyboard for your brush tool, make sure you have the black paint selected and uh, change your brush size. You can click anywhere in your document to change your brush size um, and get this little dialog box to change your brush, brush size. And um, I'm going to make that a little larger there and paint over the areas with the black on your layer mask. This is That's the white box here. You paint on that layer mask to mask out or hide any of the areas that you think are too sharp like that and uh, you can also use your bracket keys uh, to change your brush size your left bracket key down changes the size of your brush down your right one changes it up so forth and we are done with that we could save it to facebook as it is we do a save for web at about 90 quality let me show you that here 
and I use I usually do for anywhere from 90 to, to 100 for that um, save that or you can continue to work on it with the actions and add a logo bar at the bottom we can add uh, we have this do not copy or save text that we could add over the top to give our image a little bit more protection we can use one of these logo bars and put the mocha one on here and we can place our logo down here or we can write some text whatever we want to do with that I'm going to use the place logo action and just grab my logo I've got here and my logo is black in this instance and it's not going to look good on that mocha so I'll show you just double click on that and click color overlay click on the little gray or whatever color you might have pop-up box and select your color that you want your logo to be so we've got a white logo now and I'm going to lower the opacity on that so it's a little less obnoxious looking and we can leave it like that and save it for Facebook or we can around the corners on it and I really like the rounded corners and so I am going to choose Facebook rounded corners on black because that it was designed for Facebook's uh, theater view for photos that they have uh, where it pops up and it's got the black background if you have it on white you're gonna on that black background you're gonna have little white corners that look kind of tacky so I designed this one to look really nice on Facebook's theater view and it'll look like that and we'll see on Facebook it will pop up and look just like that nice and polished and protected and uh, I hope everybody finds all of these uh, to be useful and fun and help not only protect your images but polish them up and make them look nice and professional and you can find all these on my Facebook page at paint the moon photography on Facebook you go to my profile image here underneath the third one down is exclusive free click on that unlock the download and get the goods to play with and our website is found at paintthemoon.net thank you very much for listening and i hope you all are having a wonderful day